As a hands-on leader who follows developments across the country every day, the president is not unmindful of the rising cost of food and how it affects the citizens. While availability is not a problem, affordability has been a major issue to many Nigerians in all parts of the country. This has led to a significant drop in demand, thereby undermining the viability of the entire agriculture and food value chain. Accordingly, and in line with this administration's position on ensuring that the most vulnerable are supported, the president has declared with immediate effect the following actions. One, a state of emergency on food security. Two, that all matters pertaining to food and water availability and affordability as essential livelihood items be included within the purview of the National Security Council. Now, as a direct and immediate response to this crisis, a number of initiatives will be deployed in the coming weeks to reverse this inflationary trend and guarantee future uninterrupted supplies of affordable foods to ordinary Nigerians. As with most emergencies, there are immediate, medium, and long-term interventions and solutions. In the immediate term, this government intends to deploy some savings from the full subsidy remover into the agricultural sector, focusing on revamping the agri sector. In an earlier meeting today with the agri stakeholders, we drafted a memorandum of partnership between the government and the individual stakeholders' representatives that encompasses the decisions taken and actions proposed from our engagements. The immediate intervention strategies are as follows. One, we will immediately release fertilizers and grains to farmers and households to mitigate the effects of the subsidy removal. Two, there will be an urgent synergy between the Ministry of Agriculture and the Ministry of Water Resources to ensure adequate irrigation of farmlands and to guarantee that food is produced all year round. As a country, Mr. President has made it clear that we can no longer be comfortable with seasonal farming. We can no longer afford to have farming downtimes. Speech, part of the savings from the first subsidy removal is what we're using for this intervention. Your, to answer to your question, the distribution will be free to the households and to the farmers. And part of the discussion we've had in our interaction is that going forward, most especially on those trucks that carry food and all those uh, items that basic needs, it will become illegal for any state actually to continue building roadblocks uh, to collect that. That's why we have the only person is custom services that is responsible to charge whether a site duty or import duty. So no other place in the constitution is allowed. As part of the discussion we've had in our interaction is that going forward, and if you follow our president, then... Expect us next time around. <laughs> and uh, these people most times are able, if you check very well, Into the modernized method, which is 
worldwide acceptable. And with um, the concerns, would not allow such to happen. All the part of those things adds to um, encroachment methods and insecurity. Actually, the other the, the is this. for the states to allocate, you know, sufficient as that says, resolves all of those issues.